On today's ProPresenter show, how to use new text in DI tools with ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks that I share. What if you wanted to send the output of ProPresenter for live streaming? or for use with the TriCaster. Is there an easy way to send the output of ProPresenter over the network to another system? Well, as it turns out, there is, and it's free. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you how. One of the most exciting things that's happened in live video production recently is Nutex NDI. Now, NDI stands for Network Digital Interface, similar to SDI, the Serial Digital Interface, but this does it over the network. What's really exciting for those of us that use ProPresenter is you can use it to capture the output of the ProPresenter display and send that different places to do different things with it. So, first off, in your browser, go to newtech.com slash NDI slash tools, and download the appropriate one. Uh, I downloaded the Mac version, which doesn't have everything that the Windows version has, but it's got enough that I think we can see some cool things. So just click there, fill out the form, it'll download. You'll need to mount it and install the things that you see there. But once you do that, if we go into ProPresenter, you know, that, that looks all familiar here and then go into see I've got both of these up already let's go to new tech NDI scan converter which is not exactly the best name because a scan converter would switch from SD or computer resolutions to standard definition in the old days but I get what they're going for so once you've fired this up, there's really not much interface. It's just what's up here. So go to File. Again, I wouldn't have put it there. I would have said Displays or Capture or something like that. But you do that, and the default is Desktop, but that grabs all your desktops. What you're going to want to look for is ProPresenter 6. And I happen to know that Number 2 is my main output, so I went ahead and selected that. I don't actually have the stage display up right now. Let's um, go ahead and put the stage display up and go back and see if it updates. One thing that I did find with this is, oh, good, it did update. So I did find that it wasn't always updating quickly. I had to shut down NDI scan converter and ProPresenter a couple of times to get them to see one another. But once I did, they seem to have shown up every time. So, let's go back to this, number two, which I believe is still my main output. And then let's go to the NDI video monitor. Now, I'm just using this as an example. Oh, see, that's part of the problem here. So let's go back to Scan Converter and select, uh, I think it's this one. Yes. So we select that and then the, the preview window shows up right here. And so this is sending this technically over the network, but I'm on the same machine just to show you how it does that, but that's not super useful. What you could do with it is put this software, 
the NDI video monitor, which you'll need to select which one it connects to. But once you do that, you could put this on another machine and use that to capture what ProPresenter is doing, or you could put this on another machine, uh, maybe a Mac Mini or uh, some small machine and put it elsewhere in the church and then be able to send the video signal from ProPresenter over the network. And that would be a pretty cool thing to do, especially because there's not much latency in this. I'm not exactly how sure. I'm not sure how they're doing this because the latency is pretty good. In fact, let me try and illustrate that here by going over here and it's changing about as fast as it is on the main display. Again, this is on the same network, so it could be the or the same machine, not over the network. So it could be you'll get more latency, but that's pretty quick, which is uh, really nice. And as an advantage, as we saw earlier, if I go back into Scan Converter and go to File, let's say that I wanted to send the stage display um, elsewhere, I could send the stage display. So going back to Video Monitor, and now you see the stage display that I have set up. So I can send stage display as well as sending the main display. Heck, I could even send this if I wanted to. Don't know exactly why you'd want to unless you have people that like to look at such things over your shoulder virtually and not over your shoulder literally. So that's another way to do it. But NDI can also um, show up in other software. So there is a plugin you can get, oops, not for Final Cut Pro, I mean, maybe for Final Cut Pro, um, but what I was trying to do is show you that you can get it for OBS too. So you could send your output of ProPresenter, everything that's on the screen, to OBS and then use that on your live stream. So that's a pretty powerful thing as well. So if you don't need just text, Stage Display Viewer would work fine in OBS for that. But if you wanted the whole output of the screen, you could use the NDI Scan Converter to send that to OBS. So a lot of possibilities here with this free utility or set of utilities from NewTek, NDI Tools. Is this as flexible as using the SDI module to send NDI? Not really. Does it support alpha like it would if you were using the alpha key module? Nope. Should you call Renewed Vision for support with this? No. That's what the comments underneath the video are for. So keep all of that in mind. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help you train the people at your church or organization, just go to tvm.fyi slash ctu tutorial and join Church Tech U for the first month for just a dollar. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.